today we find ourselves in the village that I'm from and we have come all the way here from Athens about a three and a half hour drive and the reason is there's a local celebration going on for St. Mary and uh, it's a truly unique experience it's gonna be done in the center of the square of the village it's a very tiny village about 200 300 people at the most I believe and um, it's super interesting unless you you are from Greece and you've gone to a little village you're probably not gonna have experienced anything like this the music is supposed to be really really loud so I'm gonna do my best to film and have good sound for you. So let's go ahead and walk over and see what happens. We had some amazing food. Oh my god, the meat is delicious. And now we're gonna talk to my sister's friends that are born and raised from in this village. And they're gonna give us a little bit of an insight. Uh, what are your names? Uh, Helen. Yukritia. Are you from this village? Yeah. Yes. And uh, how do you like it? <laughs> we love our village. What is your favorite part about the celebration? Uh, the dance. You like the dancing? Yes. yes. Are you gonna dance tonight? Maybe yeah. later. Yes. A lot. <laughs> what time does this end? Um, In the morning. Morning. Like, uh, uh, six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah. Eight. Sometimes. Greek people really like to party, huh? Yeah. We are born to party. Okay, so we're gonna practice a little bit of dancing before we go on the stage because we don't want to embarrass ourselves. You're gonna dance too, right? You're gonna dance? I'm gonna dance. Are you gonna dance? You're gonna dance. Eleni is the expert, so she's gonna teach us how to dance. Yeah, let's go! It's 3.30 in the morning, the party's gonna go on. Oh, maybe until 8. We're exhausted, we dance, we drank, we ate. Are you ready for bed now? Now we're gonna go sleep. Well, how, did you like it? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Next year, again. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. All right, it's now a couple days after the village party. This is a very um, celebratory month for Greece. Uh, Villages all around the country have their own parties. There's also another tradition in this region that we are at in Peloponiso, is more specifically in the region of Laconia. Uh, there's a tradition that every August people start walking from their villages 
all the way to a monastery up in the mountains. For some, it can take a day. For some, it can take seven seven hours. It depends where you're really at. And they usually do it in the middle of the night and get there by early morning because of how hot usually the month of August is. Today, we're not going to be walking to the monastery. We're actually gonna take, uh, we're, we're gonna take a drive there. And they're nearby the town of Leonidio. Uh, Leonidio is a really cool little town, big village, uh, and it's very well known for climbing. People from all over the world come to climb its mountains. And um, so we'll explore a little bit over there. All right, I'm surrounded by a lot of wasps right now, so, um, Let's go. He loves going on car rides and trips, walks, everything. He's such a travel dog. And we're in the process of getting him a European travel passport for pets. Uh, so we may be taking him on some trips with us. We are currently on our drive. Uh, we had to make a stop because the scenery is just absolutely beautiful. And if you're going to be taking this drive, you definitely want to plan for a few extra stops. Because just look at this. I'm not going to lie though, it's a bit of a scary drive if you're not used to driving in these kind of streets. Now, what I want to share with you is right behind me, there's some caves. This specific area of Greece has a lot of shepherds uh, for sheep and goats. And it's not just now, it was all the way back through the centuries. And if you can actually climb to one of those caves, you will see wooden stairs, really old wooden stairs, and wooden beds that these shepherds have made. And they were on a long journey, sometimes they have to transport animals uh, from one village to another and without the roads it would take days. My grandpa was actually one of those people and he would just sleep in the woods as a nine-year-old by himself in the middle of the night. All right so now let's continue our journey into the monastery of Elona and see what it has in store for us. So what do you think about these roads? I think because we did it before in the rain it doesn't bother me. Uh, when I'm not driving, I'm scared. When I'm driving, I'm very confident in my skills, so... I'm confident in your skills, too. Oh, okay. It's just different. Ooh. I like having control. <laughs> this monastery is super cool because it's built into the rocks of the mountain. And it was a perfect place to hide during the Turkish occupation. However, it ended up getting burned multiple times from the Turkish, but it has been persevered because of its perfect location. It's not very flammable. This behind me must be the old door they used to have. And now here's the new one. The old one's way cooler in my opinion. <laughs> This area must be where the nuns sleep. It's really cool that they also have like a little market stand nearby with local vendors selling their honey, herbs, teas, candles, soaps, you name it. They may have it here. And on top of the little local produce stands, uh, on top of, uh, by, right by the entrance, on the actual car entrance of the monastery, there's a bunch of toys for sale. So I'm standing right on top of fresh water coming from the mountain and it goes all the way to the sea. It goes under a restaurant and it's actually really cold. All right, now we're gonna eat and we got a local specialty. Oh wow, it smells really good. Wow, so this is beef with local eggplants. This region is really well known for their eggplant. They're or it's just actually an eggplant festival. As it seems to have some red sauce, eggplant, beef. Oh, the beef is just falling apart. Really, really nice flavors. Mm. Yeah, the eggplant is really good. Right here, I got the eggplant salad they make. It looks a little different. Usually, it's a bit darker. Let's see. Mm. 
It's very nice, very garlicky, which I like. And the other dish we got is called papuchakia, which means little shoes. And it's not just local to this area, it's very traditional. It's basically eggplant, ground beef with some red sauce mm. and bechamel sauce. I was gonna get moussaka, but they didn't have it, so this was the next best alternative. We'll see how it is. The bechamel sauce is really nice, I really like it. Wow, I'm in love with the eggplants here. The town of Lonidio is really interesting because they actually have their own dialect. It's called the Chaconica dialect and stems from the Doric dialect back in the ancient times, which is really cool. So most of the signs inside the town uh, are actually in Greek and their Chaconian dialect. And so the majority of the people that are from here do speak it. Maybe not so much the younger generation, but the older generation is fluent in it. And as a Greek, if I hear them speak, I'm not gonna be able to understand what they're saying for the most part. But now we're about to get caught in the rain. A storm is coming. Where we're supposed to be driving from, unfortunately, those scary mountains. So now we'll get in the car and drive back home.